Hi guys, it's Carissa. Tomorrow I will be starting Lupron and as you know, I have been on birth control pills. I'm only taking them for 21 days prior to doing all the other stuff that I'm going to do before IVF. And it's funny because I did I always thought that the birth control part was the easy part and, you know, in the scheme of things it really is, but I was surprised by how many side effects I had from the birth control and Unfortunately, one thing that happened within the last few days um, started to seem like a side effect of the pills and I was nervous. So as a precaution, I went to the emergency room. Um, basically, the birth control pills have been making me really nauseous and uh, I've had headaches and just generally haven't felt very well on them. And I noticed that the the worst of it was in the evenings. I always felt worse kind of towards the tail end of the day and one of the symptoms that I guess I thought was related to the birth control pill was a, a tightness in the right side of my chest. I would notice at nighttime that I would have really hot feet and legs and kind of restless feelings in my legs and I would have a lot of trouble getting comfortable enough to sleep. And in addition to that, one evening, I was feeling a very acute pain in my chest on the right side that was sort of radiating out to my bicep. And of course, just out of curiosity, I thought, I wonder if this is a side effect of the birth control pill because I was noticing so many different things about my body over the course of the last few days that I thought, I wonder if that's something I should be concerned about. Being that it was really late at night, I didn't call my doctor's office, I didn't think much of it. And then in the morning, it wasn't bothering me much. But throughout the day, it was starting to hurt more and then become really consistent. To the point where it was always there, but sometimes it felt worse than others. It felt an awful lot like a pulled muscle. Um, say if you up your weight or your reps when you're bench pressing or if you've done one too many push-ups kind of a feeling... You know when you wake up in the morning and your chest feels really tight and very exhausted um, and very uncomfortable? That is really what I was experiencing, but it was isolated to the right side and I was feeling it a lot in my arm as well. So I <sighs> foolishly started to think, you know, I know that there's a risk of blood clots on birth control pills and I don't know if you can feel blood clots. I would assume that you can't. I really would assume you can't, but maybe you can, and maybe that's something I should look into. Well, unfortunately, this was Friday evening before I was trying to fall asleep, and it was getting later and later, and I was doing a lot of reading online about birth control pills and blood clots, and it sounded an awful lot like pain in the legs and or the arms is a sign of a blood clot, and although I know it's not wise to self-diagnose on, on the internet, it was really just making me feel, <laughs> it was actually kind of making me feel like I might have a valid like fear or worry. So what I did was I tried to kind of calm my mind and think about, okay, regardless of whether or not this is a blood clot related to just starting birth control, and that's something that seemed very consistent that you are at risk for getting a blood clot if you have started birth control recently. It was on just about every article and website that I looked at. So I told myself, look, you can wait until the morning and call the doctor's office, but if they hear you're having chest pain, they're just gonna send you to the ER just as a precaution, I know. There's no other way. And if I were to try to just go to an after hour center, I'm only prolonging the fact that I'll probably still get sent to the emergency room. So. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning and I decided I was going to go to the hospital because I felt like I, there was no way I would be able to sleep. I'll just go to the emergency room now. Well, I drove all the way there. I even got so far as to get into the parking garage and I realized I didn't have my new insurance cards on me. And I thought, if there's a chance that I do need them and I just hope that I can submit this to insurance, you know, if they needed the numbers or anything like that, and they run a whole bunch of tests. I mean, I have been to the hospital for chest pains before related to my blood pressure. And I did 
you know, three AKGs. I stayed for over a day. Uh, I did stress tests. It added up really quickly, and I thought, if there's a chance that this will all get billed to me without any help from insurance, it'll feel really foolish of me to just rush in here because I'm starting to worry about things like blood clots and such. So I decided to just drive back home, and being that it was now closer to 4 a.m., I thought, I'll just call my doctor's office and leave a message, and they open at 7. It's only a few hours away, and I'd probably wait just as long in the emergency room, so I'll just wait to see what they say. Uh, there is a chance that they'll tell me just to go right back, and that's fine. Well, I hadn't heard from them, and it was nearing 10, 10.30. And I had mentioned it to my sister and, of course, to Mike. And normally when I've had kind of concerns like this in the past, I'm they're, they're dismissed pretty quickly. And I understand I have been overly paranoid in the past about things. But they both seemed pretty concerned um, that I should be checked out, regardless of whether or not I'd heard from, from the clinic. And... Then I, I talked to another friend just casually about it, and everyone was really like, you should really go. So then I started to feel a little panicked, because it's rare that I've had some kind of strange symptom before where people are like, no, 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 go to the doctor, because they were genuinely afraid. And that did make me pretty fearful. So um, I went to the emergency room. My sister drove me, and they immediately took... By the way, they didn't even need my insurance card. Um, they immediately took my blood pressure and my pulse and sent me for an EKG. The EKG must have been normal because they put me in the waiting room after that. And I waited for about an hour and a half or so before getting put into the back for blood work and um, to have an IV put in. And I had expressed to them that I was on birth control and that I was a little bit nervous about maybe having a blood clot. And what made me feel kind of comfortable was the fact that they seemed to think that was a really valid concern. And I know that it's probably a strange thing for me to say, but it made me feel like I had done the right thing. In the meantime, while I was there, in the midst of it, I was getting calls back from the fertility center, and I can't fault them for that. I know that they do all of their ultrasounds and all their appointments, and then they make calls later in the day, later in the morning. So being that it was a Saturday, they started calling me around noon, a little bit before noon, actually, and that's earlier than they call during the week. Um, I couldn't really have expected more than that on their part, and I can't fault them for it, but I just continued on with whatever the hospital wanted from me um, to sit and wait and, you know, whatever testing they wanted to do. Now, I didn't know this, but luckily a blood clot can be detected through a blood test. I thought that was pretty great. And what they said was, essentially, if the blood test came back negative for a blood clot, it was negative and I could go home. If it came back positive for a blood clot, that still didn't mean I had one. It just meant that they had to do more testing and kind of figure out what that meant. I'd probably have to get a CAT scan, things like that. But at that point, all I'd had was my blood drawn and had an x-ray to rule out bone fracture or pneumonia or anything um, in the lungs that could have caused the pain, aside from just a pulled muscle. And after sitting there for five hours total, which is not that bad, Start to finish, I've waited in the actual waiting room before we were seen for longer than that before for other things. So I thought that was pretty good that we were there for about five hours and they said, it's just angina. You just were stressed or you pulled a muscle or whatever. It's just chest tension and you're fine. Oh, that was a breath of fresh air. It was good to hear because it is scary to think that it could have potentially canceled this cycle and there could have been other problems. I could have had to go on blood thinners and who knows what else would have been required. So um, I am glad that I had it checked out. And after speaking to CNY again today, they actually called me again today to follow up. They said, you did the right thing. We would have sent you to the emergency room anyway. So all they require now is that my primary uh, send a letter of consent saying it's okay for me to continue being on the birth control pills for like nine days more, however long I have left, and continue treatment. And I'm 
confident that they will do that. So I have an appointment for that tomorrow as well. But that was just kind of a bump in the road. <laughs> it was it was a long day and it was a little bit of an emotional day too. You know, I, I felt pretty good about everything as it was going and I took it as a good sign that most of the things that they did, they didn't seem like anything was too terribly urgent. Meaning, you know, like say my EKG didn't show signs of a heart attack or anything more than what they were looking for. So that was good. Um, my pulse was shown as elevated, but of course I was nervous and they said that all looked fine. Um, so it was an emotional day. It was a long day. And after not really getting any sleep the night before, I did try and really lay low that night and everything. So that is what happened to me. <laughs> and I, you know what, I could think it's a little bit embarrassing, but I really don't feel that way. I feel like there are a lot of people who suffer as a result of not being seen. And to be honest, this is the kind of thing that I think, say it had been serious and say it had been worst case scenario or something had happened to me and people, family, friends found out later that I'd had symptoms for a couple of days and never went to the emergency room, they would be pretty upset with me for it and they would think it was foolish that I hadn't been seen. But then when you are seen for the same symptoms and it turns out to just be a pulled muscle or something that's not serious at all, it does feel a little bit foolish. Um, it's a shame that that's kind of how things work, but that is how it works. So um, that's where everything stands now. Everything's fine. I'm fine. And I'm going to continue with everything as planned tomorrow. Thank goodness. So I will update you on all of that then. But that's it for now. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.